The way that this song was constructed was almost identical to this kind of setup. One synth, a drum computer, and um, yeah. Yeah, really like an island yeah. of machines. Yeah, and then look for excitement. And then when there's excitement, there's fun, and uh, then you can yeah, play around in the studio, and that's exactly what we love to do. You probably all know modular synths. And we used to use all those simple synths, and for us this was uh, unexpected or um, territory we didn't know. But um, let me show you how we just build a sound mostly, or how it's creative for us. I already pre-patched because you would sit here for an hour probably, <laughs> just hearing bus. And but let's see. And the way I try to do it is how we normally do it as a band. Like we start with a just just a simple wave, uh, a, a bass wave. I have a sequencer, which will uh, run the modular synth. So it's with just CV gate, the old school MIDI. And let's see if I. It's playing. These are the drums. So I'm going to start off just with one wave and. Slow it down a bit. So it's really simple. And then I'm going, going to put another oscillator, which make it more detuned and actually a bigger sound. I'm already going through the filter, so yeah. <laughs> I did a bypass. So we're hearing two oscillators now. But for us, it sounds still a bit boring, so we really liked, um, or really like, uh, pulse width modulation, that's you modulate your oscillator with whatever. And I use an LFO, low frequency modulator, and normally that should give something more, let's see, speed it up. like it <laughs> so. so this could be just the bass and then there's the more the mid section what would be guitar and our uh, like years ago what we did so I have some extra oscillators on another channel let me check it yeah. doesn't sound like a guitar but more like an acid thing but imagine, uh, use your imagination. So, they go so, there's another envelope on this one. That's nice. So I'm gonna add the bass. And maybe add just for fun an extra oscillator who plays just one note. Let me, uh, there it is. <laughs> so yeah. I could do is make it even more dirtier and just put some cross modulation. I'm gonna use the t -t 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 one note to um, cross the other oscillators. Uh, let me see. Like that, right, the sounds. So yeah, why not do a jam, Bert?
for us. We will be happy to answer some of your questions. Gonna give you a mic. Do you layer like live drums with drum machines, or are those only drum machines? Or um, this, especially uh, the first album was yeah. mainly the, like the sequential drum tracks, who made kicks and snares, and then we edit them in Pro Tools. But the the key to make it sound more alive was playing real hi hats over it. So when you have like an electronic kick, an electronic snare, and then you play live, everything changes if you compare it to an electronic hi-hat. But then the other albums, we started to com really combine stuff. Some, some, uh, sometimes we used like the playing everything live and then trigger the kick, so you have an extra, an extra like uh, sound. But yeah, every album is different. Sometimes we play only live drums, but we we process them in a way that it sounds more electronic, or the other way around, electronic sounds that give them some organic feel to it. So yeah. Thanks. I was also wondering, as a drummer myself, are you uh, using uh, click tracks or to sync everything up with the MPC or? Yeah. Yeah. So the MPC is the master clock. Yeah. And I'm a slave. Yeah. <laughs> a slave to the to the rhythm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we we tried it the other way. We tried it like with uh, triggering the kick as yep. a tap for the BPM, but it had too much. It wasn't stable enough. Yeah. But um, I forgot the question. Yeah, you're using click track to hear. Yeah, so thing, I right? have a click yeah. track because I sent well sequences to the synths, so I, I follow the click to make sure the sequences are the same groove as I am, and uh, and that's it. I yep. just play drums on the click and. Um, also, the song, the sequences are not, they're not made in songs, they're like loops. And when we go from chorus to refrain or riff, I switch the loop with my third hand. Yeah, yeah. And, um, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Bert is the only one who's hearing click, so we're yeah. quite lucky to just be free of that and play music. Yep. And just we follow him. <laughs> yeah, but I've been playing on a click a while now, and I sometimes I. At the end of a, a track, I don't even remember listening to a click because you get used to it so, so much you just become the click. <laughs> yeah, and you're still using the MPC, the the old one or a new new. That's the MPC thousand. Okay, yeah, still but works. Any machine can do it. I think. Yeah, thank you.